Toby Booth sums it up well there, doesn't he? Second best. He always talks honestly, mm. Toby, but yeah. he doesn't want to be talking about effort all the time. That should be a given every game. I think the difficulty you have when you play Leinster is you know what's coming. It's difficult to stop, but there's a fundamental difference. I'll talk about speed of ball, which is the important thing, but close to the line as well. That was a factor. They defended really well early on, the Ospreys. Got low. You know what's coming close to the line. They take tap penalties. They take mauls and line outs in the corner if you give away penalties. So, you know, the Ospreys sort of marshaled them quite well early on. But the pressure told, and it will as they come in wave and wave. And they're smart. Keen Healy here is a prop, so he's used to a squat position. And they wait to latch on to him. Watch now how he engages. And then the two guys come on, latch on, and drive him over almost like a snowplow. It's very difficult to stop. They score a few like that. But this is the difference. The ball carries. Watch now the Ospreys types of carries. Quite static, straight into blue shirts. Very little footwork, just direct and easy to tackle. Leinster doubled up on double tackles with them. Smashed them back. So there's little deception there. You know, a little option, if you like. And there's Kieran Williams. They're all putting loads of effort and they're trying their hardest. Look at Rodri Jones get smashed back. But it's not like Leinster. This is Ryan Baird. He's a second row. He's 16 and a half stone. He's got footwork and then he drives through contact. Two athletes, Deegan and Penny in the wide channel, just loping up the, towards the touchline. This is Kean Healy. He's 34, 114 caps. He's stepping inside and he's getting past. Here's Jimmy O'Brien, one of the smallest guys in the field. Look how he fights. Having made a weak shoulder, a half gap, and Max Deegan was brilliant, just exploding onto half gaps that's the fundamental difference when you carry like that and use footwork and get across the game line the breakdown that Toby mentioned becomes easier because of the speed of ball and you know Scott there's a fundamental difference there I've got to say for the first 20 minutes they looked so good dominant in control but as Dwayne mentioned there a couple of things didn't go their way and it changed the game yeah, he's gone through a tough period at the moment. Right? It's a massive learning curve for Dwayne. But <laughs> you know, a lot of players out, a lot of development players coming 19 in. 19 in all yeah, between and, Wales and And he's going to go through some pain. But, you know, they're going to benefit from it because uh, Ulster, the last game away, they could have won it, created lots of chances. Same here. And he talked about going off script. You know, that was the problem. I've given a bit of a story of the game. 10-0 up, they've got a penalty. They started well, great try. They win a penalty. Now it's about, oh, hooky, kick me down the corner, please, right? And, and just set up a line out there, Scott. But you're winning is calling for this. There's physios everywhere. All the Scarlet's players are around the kicker and the ref. It's chaos there. It just needs calming down, kick to the corner, build on our 10-0 lead. For some reason, he goes for it. It's never on. The picture has changed. It doesn't get there as a kick, and Connacht's going. They grew in confidence, and the frustration crept, crept in for Dan. He, he bipped at the ref there. Dwayne's half-time team talk goes out the window because they lose the first line-out. Then they give a couple of penalties where he, Carty, who's the best player for Connacht, starts chipping into the corner. Dan Jones himself gives the next penalty away, gets even more frustrated, has a little go at the assistant referee. So he's lost it by this time, and Connacht are growing in confidence. He gets taken off and has another go at the ref, and all the while, Carty's chipping away. John Porter scored a try, and they've gone two, three scores up. But, you know, credit the Scarlets. They are creating... This is the solace for Dwayne. They are creating opportunities. That's a, a, a guilt there's chance for for Dane Black in the first half. They were over the line, I counted, Cat four times but couldn't get the ball down. This is another one that Dwayne talked about that Hardy should really take and score again. Only six points they lost by. Callum Afoni gets over and is held up. So they are creating. It's a game, really, they should have won. But the ill-discipline and the pain he's going through with some errors is just shining through. But, as I say, at least they're creating.